Hey everyone, Marty Sleevy here alongside Mitch Dyer. Howdy. Hi, you just you you were talking on the phone in that very room. Yes. To some folks from the proud island of Japan. Yeah. Uh, from a new indie studio called uh, Friend and Foe. Yes. Uh, why 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 should people know about Friend and Foe? So Friend and Foe is a studio made up of uh, just a few guys. They are working in Tokyo. They are formerly of uh, Battlefield, mm -hmm. Killzone, yep. and The Last Guardian. Yep. This is a studio who worked at Team Eco. Uh, they have two projects in the works. One is called Vane. The other is called. Dangerous Men. Mm -hmm. We don't know much about Dangerous Men. No. We know it's an action co-op game. Yeah, they've kind of like a hints of like bro force and sort of yeah. like uh, cool stylish 2D action. Yeah, uh, but the thing that gets you and I excited, Marty, Vane. Yeah, so Vane, uh, they've released some animated GIFs and yes. some, some images. GIFs, GIFs, we're not going to go over that now. GIFs. Uh, and uh, the game, it, it really has this sort of like isolated, lonely journey sort of feel where yeah. it's, it's trying to tell a story just through the environment, just yep. through movement. Uh, and that's, that was one of the things they told you that they really wanted to hone in on. Yeah, and it's, it's an open world game about, you know, like hostile environments. So it doesn't appear to be that much, you know, combat or conflict. <laughs> At least, you know, right now it's super early. It's yeah. a prototype. The studio's only a couple months old. Yeah, I mean May, right? Yeah. The studio's like literally two months old. Yeah, but yeah. what they have, what they've established with this prototype is that, you know, you are like wandering through a desert and they're like gorgeous sceneries yeah. and the art is really simple and you know there's a gift of like lightning striking yeah, the ground yeah. and like stuff kicking up off the ground so yeah. it's showing the environment reacting to itself mm -hmm. in certain ways and yeah it's it's a really good example of a game that hopefully will establish this sense of like calm serenity in an open world yeah. with bits of panic and fear and that yeah, kind of stuff definitely. as you kind of figure out what the world is. I thought uh, one of the other cool things from the uh, the written feature that you have up on the site was also their thoughts on working on something as, as sort of like at the scale of Last Guardian, and obviously Last Guardian's had this, this troubled development and yeah. a very long dev cycle. Which uh, they have what, no interest in whatsoever. Like. Yeah, so that was one of the other cool things, is they were like, we want to make a lot of smaller games. We do not want to spend upwards of a decade yeah. on a single project. I mean, it sounds game. like they want to make a lot of games very quickly and as often as possible, yeah. which I'm super down with. Yeah, I they're mean, talented guys, I love that. Yeah, and there's only five, and they, they're working with some like contractor guys, they're getting some outside help for Dangerous mm -hmm. Men doing the art, while the core team you know, focuses yeah. on Bane. Uh, I hope that Vayne is this year. I think that might be a little optimistic. That might be yeah. more nimble than I think even they're expecting. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I mean, it, it's really interesting to see a team that worked on The Last Guardian do something that is comparable in certain ways. You know, it's got like Team Eco yeah. vibe Vibes. about it. Absolutely. But, you know, with, with dudes who want to have their own creative control yeah. without the oppressiveness of a AAA studio. Absolutely. All right, so for the rest on Mitch's time with uh, the Friend and Foe devs, be sure to check out his written, written feature. Everything else, Friend and Foe, and hopefully someday soon, Last Guardian. You're already in the right place. IGN.